Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I'm Oz Hall, and in this video, we're going to be looking at my ARP 2500 system. This is an original ARP 2500 owner's manual. This is an original ARP 2500 brochure, and on the next to last page, there are six sample systems. Sample system number five includes an ARP 2600 and a single cabinet of ARP 2500 modules, including the 1047 multi-mode filter, a 1045 voice module, a 1036 dual sample and hold, a 1050 mix sequencer, and a 1027 sequencer. This 2500 cabinet complemented the capabilities of the ARP 2600 to create a complete 2500 system. It was one of the most capable and inexpensive ARP 2500 systems available. This system is based on that sample system five and we're going to look at it in detail. But before we do, please consider subscribing. I'm just about to reach 1,000 subs and you could take me over the top. I would appreciate it. I recently had a question about what modules to include in a 2500 system. I assumed, of course, that one would want one of every type of module available from the Behringer 2500 series. Beyond that, two questions arose. One, would you want more than one of any given module type? And two, once you had the module selected, what would you be missing? My first thought was to reference the 2500 system that I have to complement my Korg ARP 2600 FS. Let's quickly review these modules. First, we have three 1004 oscillators. We have a dual sample and hold, the 1036. We have the 1005 mod amp, which includes the ring modulator. And we have the 1006 filt amp, which includes both a filter and an amplifier. On the second row, we have the 1016 random voltages generator, i.e. noise, and a 1033 dual envelope generator. Finally, we have the 1047 multi-mode filter. And for sequencers, we have the 1050 mix sequencer and the 1027 sequencer. The next question is, what am I missing in this setup? I've added six modules to the setup. Number one is a quantizer. I've got the Dofer A156 dual quantizer. I have an attenuators module to reduce the voltage level of the 1027 sequencer output. I have a quad LFO. This Loafers 2 module from Noise Reap is out of production, but there are a number of dual and quad LFOs on the market. I've got a multiples module. I've also got inline multiples that I'm using in several places. By the way, I also have this inline attenuator that's very handy. The 1047 keyboard percussion module from AmSense complements the 1047 multi-mode filter. It has a piece of functionality that was in the original ARP 2500 that would ping the 1047 filter. This functionality was left out of the Behringer 1047 module, and I'm so grateful to AmSense for producing this. Finally, we have these expansion modules that I have built out and installed. They're available commercially. Check the description box below. The expansion for the 1004 oscillators simply breaks out the waveforms, and it taps off of these switches so that uh, this output would be off or inverted or regular polarity. 
same here. And the 1036 dual sample and hold is a breakout that provides the clock out. It also provides the noise out that's tapped off of these two potentiometers. And interestingly, they sound a little bit different. And furthermore, they sound different from the noise that comes out of the random voltages module. Finally, we have the breakout uh, for the gates, and these are the inputs to the individual envelope generators. If you connect it here, you trigger both envelope generators. If you connect it here, you trigger the left envelope generator, and if you connect it down here, you trigger the right envelope generator. Uh, it's very handy. At the moment, I have a PIX module in kick and snare mode. This is being driven by a Euclidean sequencer, the Euclidean circles. These are not really part of the 2500 system per se. They provide drums in the context of this 2600, 2500 setup. So I don't really consider them part of the list of missing modules. Of course, there's no keyboard in this setup. I'm counting on the ARP 2600 keyboard, the 3620, for the following functions. Number one, portamento, glide, slew limiting. Number two, keyboard, CV, and gate. And number three, a delayed LFO, which is added into the keyboard, CV, and gate. As an alternative, you could have a MIDI to CV converter to provide the CV and gate, and perhaps an LFO under mod will control, depending on the converter that you have. If you have a 2600 that's either the Behringer or the Korg Mini, you would have a lag processor as part of the 2600 that you could use for Portamento. Otherwise, you'd need a module to provide that functionality. So that concludes this video on my ARP 2500 system, uh, which includes the 2600 and selected 2500 modules. Of course, I didn't have the 1045 voice module, but I did have a complete voice made up of the Behringer modules. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.